Don't be shy, cause I, the life won't bring you down too far. Oscar Bevis for IFL TV in association with MTK Global here in the MTK fight bubble ahead of Wednesday night. Joined by the natural James McGiven who makes his professional debut on the card. How are you feeling? Excited. Um, I've been out of boxing now for maybe a year or so. I haven't fought in a year. So I'm glad finally MTK have got me on the show. I was meant to be out in April. April and June I think. But obviously with everything going on it got put back. So I'm just excited now that I can finally get started. When you say he's meant to be out for your deb debut in April, does it sort of prolong the nerves? Because I know obviously he's a professional debut. However far you go in the sport, will be one of your most nerve-wracking yeah. fights. Um, does it prolong the nervousness or prolong the excitement that, that you're getting in now? After it got cancelled, it was like, right, I didn't know when I was going to be fighting again. So it sort of went to the back of my head slightly. So the nerves weren't too bad, but then once I got the date, it's more excitement for me than nerves. Obviously, tomorrow night I will get nervous. I'm not going to say I'm not going to get nervous. But it's more excitement, especially with the debut, because... It's all very new to me, isn't it? I don't know what to expect. So I'm more excited than nervous. And you're doing it in an environment which is just unlike any other. I mean, potentially, like, you could have, not your professional debut again, but when fans yeah. return, it's going to be like two debuts. Yeah, two debuts is exactly what it's going to be like. This is surreal. Although, what, what else do I know? I've been away boxing and the likes of Russia and stuff like that. So it isn't too different for that. If you go out there and it's just the other boxers, the other, co the other countries are, are watching. There's no screaming fans as such. Yeah, that is one thing that I've heard guys who are coming up through the amateurs say, like, like Salim McGregor said to me yesterday, I'm used to this sort of feel. Um, we'll talk about your amateur career now. Like I said, I'm not too well informed on the whole amateur scene, but when you look at what you've won, it's clear to see you're a special amateur Commonwealth Games bronze, bronze uh, was it youth Commonwealth gold as well. So, um, yeah, not, not bad achievements. I was about for a while, yeah. I've won 15 national titles. I won the Europeans. I took silver as well at the youth, as you say, won the bronze of the Commonwealth. So... I didn't do everything they wanted to do. Obviously, Tokyo was one of the one of the things on the list, but it's off the cards now. So this is my new adventure. So that was your reason for sort of turning over was the fact that Tokyo was off the cards for yourself. I, I actually stopped boxing and I went to the European Games there and then stopped boxing. I was done with it. And then one of my coaches sort of texted me one night and was like, do you want, "What about going pro?" And sort of I sat there and was like, oh, "I will. What about going pro?" And now I'm here. Yeah, it's mental. So you've gone from stopping boxing to yeah. making your professional debut on you know, one of like the first 10 cards to return in Britain. It's a strange one. Like it's, It went from being done with it and going to work in a building site and trying to just get by with a normal life till I'm back here now. It'd be a good story if you end up to do big things in the pros. Um, I saw you got a little message on social media, actually. I take it you're a big Celtic boy because I saw big John Hartson yeah, saying, uh, was it good luck and things like that, yeah. Upstairs, me and my dad did a bit of pad work last night just to get the last bit of weight off. And one of the guys from my boxing club must know him. I'm sitting in a Facebook notification went up. I haven't honestly seen I've seen the video was froze with John Hartson. I was like, what's this? And then he said James and Natural McGovern. I went, what? He was part of my favourite Celtic team, Henrik Larson and all. I went, how long this is surreal? And everyone online was just like, Oh, it's brilliant, like good stuff. And I was like, I don't think you understand what just happened here. What massive Celtic fan, I was a massive John Hartson fan, so it was class. So my family are Rangers, so I'll keep my mouth shut. <laughs> um, it's probably a stupid question to ask someone who's just going to start their professional journey, but where do you see it going? Because when you've told me about you've gone from potentially just working on the building site and saying, look, drop boxing, I can't do this anymore, to turning professional. Um, yeah, have you thought about where this could go in one, two, three, five, ten years? Yes, I am, though. I mean, obviously, I've looked towards it. Like, obviously, everyone wants to win a world title and wants to do as well as they can. But for now, I'm going to take it step by step. I'm a novice pro, but that keeps on calling me a novice pro. So I'm just trust the coaches, trust the MTK, and I'll see how far I can go. I just want to enjoy myself at the minute. Six, seven, eight fights down the line. Maybe I'm going to start talking about what I'm going to do from there, but for now, to keep my feet in the ground and do what I can. What are the fans going to get from you? What can we expect? Is it going to be exciting? Because obviously, when someone turns over, like I look at you know, Alan Babich, who was on the Matchroom show the other day, when you come into that sort of mainstream fold of people watching you, no matter what people think of you, if you're exciting, you're going to get somewhere, so can we expect excitement? Um, yeah, of course, uh, for the amateurs, I was always a hit and don't get hit kind of boxer, but I've changed now, I still have that don't get hit style, 
So I have to settle the feet down a bit, put a bit more meat on my punches. So we'll find out tomorrow night. Dave, you knock out? This guy's tough. If it comes, it comes. I'll definitely be ready to take it. But the guy, I look at his record, he's a tough guy. So maybe six rounds. But if I can land a shot, then I'll land it. Top man, James. Good luck tomorrow night. And uh, yeah, look forward to catching up with you after, hopefully, for a professional W. Hopefully so. Definitely so.